Hi, I'm Bo with Windsor, and I'm here today to introduce you to the Windsor Versamatic Plus Dual Motor Vacuum. The Versamatic Plus offers dual motor power with long lasting dependability. One of the interesting things about dual motor vacuums is that they're actually more productive than their single motor counterparts. In fact, if you take a dual motor vacuum and a similarly sized single motor vacuum, the dual motors are about 15% more productive. The reason is, is that dual motor vacuums are designed to be run in long overlapping passes like a lawn mower, while single motor vacuums are designed to be run in back and forth passes that we're all used to. In fact, if you took a 4,000 square foot area, vacuumed it five days a week for a year with a single motor 12 inch upright, and then you took an 18 inch dual motor upright and vacuumed that same 4,000 square foot area five days a week for a year, do you realize that you would save 208 labor hours per year, four hours per week, by switching from a 12 inch single motor upright to an 18 inch dual motor upright? Let's begin our look at the Versamatic Plus by taking a look at the power head. You'll need to start by removing the power head from the body of the vacuum. To do that, turn the switch clockwise and remove the body from the power head. One of the new features on the Versamatic Plus is a redesign of the foot pedal. This redesign allows the foot pedal to release from the neck and keep it from damaging the neck in case the machine is dropped. Another improvement is that the brush strip access now requires no tools. To release the brush strip, all you'll do is press this button and remove the cover by sliding it straight out. This allows you full access to the brush strip for changing and replacing. On the bottom of the Versamatic, you'll find four rubber coated wheels which provide superior stability when vacuuming. Additionally, you'll find an access port which allows you to access and clean out the air channel that transports debris up into the neck and ultimately into the body of the vacuum. On the front of the Versamatic Plus, you'll find a check brush light and a brush OK light. As long as the brush OK light is on, your vacuum is adjusted and operating properly. If the orange check brush light comes on, it means your vacuum is either not adjusted to the correct height, something is impeding the brush, or the brush simply needs replaced. If the orange check brush light comes on and there's no debris blocking the brush, you'll need to check to make sure the brush is still in good working order. To do that, take a credit card, driver's license, or in this case, a hotel key, and run it down the faceplate. As long as the bristles contact the card, your brush is in good working order. If the bristles don't contact the card, time for a new brush. To adjust your Versamatic Plus properly, set the dial to the highest setting and then dial down notch by notch until the brush OK light comes on. One of the most important things to maintain on your Versamatic Plus is the filtration system. That includes the bag, secondary filter, and the final filter out front. To access the bag and the secondary filter, lift the latch on the front cover. The bag comes off by pinching these tabs for replacement. To replace the bag, simply align the arrows, slide and lock it back into place. To remove the secondary filter, lift up and then pull out. This secondary filter should be cleaned off by vacuuming away any debris and it should be replaced twice a year. The final filter on the outside catches debris coming off of the vacuum motor. This can be cleaned out and replaced periodically. Another feature on the Versamatic Plus is the wand which allows you to do crevices, corners, and long baseboards. And for use with the wand, you have an onboard dusting brush for upholstery and an onboard crevice tool. So there you have it. You now know everything that you need to know to safely and effectively operate and maintain your Windsor Versamatic Plus vacuum.